Good morning. On behalf of Dean Lynn Goldman, the Dean of the Milken School of Public Health here at George Washington University, I would like to welcome you to this symposium on Ebola, honoring Professor Jean-Jacques Muyembe. Unfortunately, Dean Goldman could not be with us today. Personally, as a member of the board of the Miryu Foundation USA, and, and also an adjunct professor here at the Institute, I would like to sincerely thank Dean Goldman for partnering with the Miryu Foundation USA to co-organize this symposium and host us in the Institute's beautiful facilities. Let me begin with some background. For those of you who may not know, the Miryu Foundation USA is the sister organization of the Miryu Foundation, or Fondation Miryu, as they say in France, where this family foundation was created over 50 years ago by Dr. Charles Miryu, a pioneer in the field of vaccines and global health. The Miryu Foundation is active in over 20 low-income countries in Africa, Latin America, Asia, and the Middle East, where we work side by side with local partners to prevent and fight epidemics and increase access to high quality laboratories for testing and surveillance. In the regions where we work, we also strive to improve the living conditions of mothers and children. The Miryu Foundation has strong ties with our guest of honor, Professor Jean-Jacques Muyembe Tamfum. In 2015, Professor Muyembe received the $500,000 Christophe Miryu Prize to recognize and support his work on Ebola virus disease. More recently, in 2019, in the midst of the Democratic Republic of Congo's largest ever outbreak of Ebola, Professor Muyembe alerted the president of the Muyembe Foundation Alain Muriu, of the urgent need for laboratory testing and surveillance capacity in the underserved eastern part of his country. In just three months, the Fundacion airlifted three specifically outfitted container labs from Lyon to Goma, the third largest city in the DRC. USAID rapidly joined the effort, making it possible for the Rodolphe Miryu National Institute for Biomedical Research in Goma to open its doors in September of 2020 in time to become Eastern DRC's main testing site and base for response op operations for another deadly epidemic, COVID-19. The foundation's work with DRC's National Institute for Biomedical Research to strengthen diagnostic and surveillance capacities in Eastern DRC continues through the USAID funded infectious disease detection and surveillance program led by ICF. We are delighted to have with us today Dr. Do Dorothy Pepra, Global Health Security Advisor at USAID, who will tell us more about that at the end of today's session. We're also fortunate to have Dr. David Heyman, chairman of the Miru Foundation USA and moderator of today's panel discussion. He worked for the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention in Sub-Sahara Africa as one of the scientists investigating the first Ebola outbreak discovered by Professor Muyembe in 1976. It is now my great privilege and pleasure to introduce our honorary guest today, Professor Jean-Jacques Muyembe Tamfum. As you may be aware, Professor Muyembe was unable to travel to the U.S. due to a positive COVID test, and he is therefore, and with great regret, joining us remotely today. Professor Jean-Jacques Muyembe Tamfum is professor of microbiology at the Université Kinshasa Medical School, director of the National Institute of Biomedical Research, 
and a scientific advisor to WHO. Born in the Democratic Republic of Congo on March 17, 1942, Jean-Jacques Moyembe received his medical degree from the University of, of Lovampium, now the University of Kinshasa, in 1969, and a PhD in medicine and virology at Rega Institute for Medical Research from the Catholic University of Leuven in Belgium in 1973. In 1976, as a young virologist, Professor Muyembe was the first scientist to describe and collect specimens from the world's first outbreak of Ebola in the village of Yambuku in DRC. He furthered his training at the Institute Pasteur for Dakar for arbovirus research and at the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention in Atlanta for Ebola virus research. He's a former dean of the Faculty of Medicine at the University of Kinshasa. For seven different outbreaks, he has been the president of the International Committee convened by the WHO for the fight against Ebola and Marburg, Marburg hemorrhagic fever outbreaks in both DRC and Gabon. During 2018 and 2019, he was the principal investigator of the ring vaccination study with Merck's Everbo Ebola vaccine in DRC. He is known to many as the Ebola hunter, a nickname popularized by a Lancet profile of June 2015, which also described him as one of Africa's foremost medical researchers. After contributing to the discovery of the virus, Professor Muyembe's research has spanned the clinical, epidemiological, and virological aspects of the disease. He, is, he established Ebola control measures, which have had a long-lasting impact on outbreak response around the world. His exper experiments with blood transfusions from recovering Ebola patients are the basis for an anti-Ebola serotherapy which attained a U.S. patent in 2018. One of Time Magazine's most influential people of 2020 and Nature's 10 people who mattered in science in 2019, Professor Muyembe has been recognized by numerous international awards. In addition to the 2015 Christophe Mariu Prize, he received the 2015 Royal Society Africa Prize and the 2017 Honorary International Fellow Award from the America Society of Tropical Medicine and Hygiene. And the government of Japan's prestigious Hideao Naguchi African Prize for 2019, among others. In addition to this impressive list of accomplishments and recognitions, one of the most important aspects of Professor Muyembe's legacy is how he's helped turn the tide on scientific colonialism, carving out an amazing space for international research by scientists from the global south. He has forged top flight laboratory infrastructure and training programs for local subject matter experts so that new generations of Congolese are able to perform future research in their own country, contributing to global health security. A final few words about today's program. You are in for a treat, because in addition to Professor Muriembe, who will share his unique story and the latest developments in his research, an exceptional group of panelists will place his legacy in the broader context of today's most pressing challenges in global health security and research, discussing what needs to be done to better respond to future disease threats. Strong international collaboration has been a hallmark of Professor Muyembe's career. Dr. Nancy Sullivan, his research partner at NIAD, will be one of our panelists. As, man, as mentioned, Dr. Dorothy Pepra, Global Health Security Advisor to USAID, will 
also provide her special insights to close today's discussion. Thanks to all of you who have come to join us this morning 